Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am bringing you another grocery haul per the usual. <laughs> I'm here at Aldi right now and it is very busy. <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous. I was going to try to film a shop with me with prices, but I don't think that's gonna happen. People get kind of like upset when you're going slow, you know? So I think I'm just gonna brush through uh, Aldi here real quick and then I'll put the prices on the uh, screen or if I have the receipt, maybe I'll read it off. I don't know, we'll see how this video turns out. But I really wanted to get try to get a video with the prices. And if you're new here, hello, my name is Katie. I'm your resident grocery hauler. I do big grocery hauls every couple weeks and then I sprinkle some smaller ones in between. Um, I'll have a big Costco one coming up here in a little bit. Uh, once we do our big Costco trip, we usually do it in the beginning of the year. And yeah, so that'll be coming. Uh, Justin will be home for the next over a week, so I did plan for seven meals. Usually I plan for like four or five for a week. I plan meal plan for one week at a time, and then we ended up having to go back the second week after like the payday the second week and getting like fresh um, fruits and veggies or whatever else we need, milk if we need. So I do most of the shopping though today and then just like 30, 40 bucks the next week. So that's the deal. I'm going to go ahead and read you off the dinners. So we're doing pan seared cod with rice and veggies. We have a recipe Justin found for that. And we still have cod from the last grocery haul. We have about half the bag left. We're doing sausage rigatoni and another recipe Justin found. Uh, tacos, chicken wraps, and we're going to be doing like buffalo chicken wraps, I think, with that. But we'll see maybe teriyaki or Caesar. We don't really know, but we have everything for it. Um, we need, or we need, we're going to be doing breaded chicken with roasted potatoes and veggies. And then chicken burrito bowls, a recipe I found. And then another recipe I found is Parmesan spinach stuffed chicken breasts. I don't have a side for that, but we have tons of veggies and rice and potato and whatever else. So that one might just be a veggie because it's going to be pretty intense. But anyway, <laughs> it's going to be pretty filling. But anyway, those are our dinners. And then I'm also going to be meal prepping some sausage egg bites. Um, the lower carb. Justin's been working out the last few weeks. He joined a CrossFit gym three weeks ago. I don't even know. He works out almost every day now. So he wants more stuff prepped. And I, as do I, it's just easier for me to grab things. So I'm going to be prepping some things. I'm going to be making some uh, banana bread muffin, little banana muffins again. It was a hit last time. Same recipe as my banana uh, bread, just a muffin. It's easier for the kids in the morning. But yeah, that's a long intro, but here we are. <laughs> I'm going to go in the store do my shopping. Um, hopefully it's not super, super busy, but we'll see. Um, if not, like I said, I'll just go home and tell you guys the prices. And then hopefully I thought coming at three o'clock on a Thursday would be slow, but apparently not. <laughs> Anywho, I'm going to head in. My time is of the essence here with little Miss Molly. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy and stick around. And if you're not subscribed, definitely subscribe. Anywho, I'm gonna head into the store and I'll see you guys very soon. Grabbing some strawberries for $1.99. This is good. And this one. I'm gonna be grabbing a bundle of bananas for 58 cents. I'm grabbing some blueberries for Grab some cilantro for 85 cents, some green onions for 79 cents, and I got some raspberries for 269. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a bag of carrots for a dollar. A bag of spinach for a dollar fifty-nine as well. I'm gonna grab a bag of apples for 419. We like the honey crisp, and these are like the perfect size. Two things of eggs and two things of milk at $147 and $269. Pick up some orange juice for $345. Pick up some of these blue tubes for $1.55. Go pick up two cream cheese, two things of cream cheese for $0.99 cents each. And a butter for $2.87. Back they have bacon. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up a pack of these thick sliced bacon. For $4.19. Pick up one of these apple cinnamon fruit grain bars for $1.39 and a strawberry. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pick up this oats and honey granola cereal for $1.99. I'm going to use that as my 
my granola for my yogurt. I'm going to grab one box of the fruit rounds for $1.29 and then also the Kids Crunch for $2.09. pick up some of these little dynamic duo potatoes for $3.59. Go ahead and grab some of this ketchup for $1.49. A big thing of ranch for $2.49. I need some body wash so I'm gonna go ahead and get one of these. I the differences. I'm gonna grab this Olay for $3.35 grab a thing of this reduced sodium chicken broth for a dollar nineteen. I'm actually gonna grab two because just in case we want to make a soup or something. Grab a thing of diced tomatoes for 64 cents. A can of corn for 49 cents. I'm gonna grab a thing of black beans for 58 cents. A thing of this rigatoni for a dollar fifty-nine. grab a thing of parmesan cheese for $2.19. Grab a thing of taco shells, hard taco shells for $0.89. Cents. Grab a thing of extra virgin olive oil for $3.89. Big thing of mozzarella cheese for $3.19. And then I'm also going to pick up a thing of Kobe Jack for $3.09. Buy a thing of ground mild Italian sausage for $2.89. A thing of the chicken broth for ten fifty-seven. Thing of frozen meatballs for four ninety-nine. Thing of waffles for eighty-nine cents. Go ahead and grab a thing of this mixed fruit blend for four thirty-nine. Use that for smoothies. Thing of sausage for a dollar eighty-nine. All right, guys. Here is everything I'm getting from Aldi. I still have to hop over to Meyer. This doesn't seem too much. I'll let you know how much it is once I check out. All right, guys, I just got done, as you saw. <laughs> um, I spent $117.20, and that's a little bit less than usual. Um, I had to run to Meyer really quick and grab a couple more things, and I'll bring you along. But, yeah, it is super cold out here. Sorry if I saw the heat's running. I enjoyed that, uh, the way I was doing with the prices. <laughs> I watched my friend Jackie. She used to be Aldi Attic. I think she's Grocery Attic now is her channel. And I really like the way she does it. So I wanted to give that a try. And it ended up working out. The first couple is like right when you walk in. So I had to like, I was trying to be quiet. So hopefully you could hear me. If not, I'll put it on the screen if I can't hear myself. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna head to Meyer now. And then, yeah, I'll show you what to get at Meyer. I just got to Meyer, and I just realized why it's so busy everywhere. Because we're getting a big storm tonight of like six plus, plus inches. We haven't gotten more than like an inch this whole winter like we've seen grass except for like a handful of times and it's been the craziest winter here like it really not bad at all like we haven't gotten a big storm yet so tonight we're getting a big storm and i bet you that's why everyone and their mother is coming out and stocking up so they don't have to leave the house for a couple days but yeah i'm gonna head into meyer now and show you guys just a few things that i have to get okay, i'm gonna go ahead and grab a thing of lettuce and that is a dollar 79 this one looks good. Grab two lemons for 59 cents each. I'm gonna buy a, or get a small avocado. I don't want a big one. That's going to be 99 cents. I'm gonna go and pick up some of this fresh garlic for 1.99. Oh, I'm sorry, 69 cents just picked up some deli turkey and I got a little over a pound for $8.99. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this, was it, eight pack of body armor for $5.99. And pick up a family size of Oreos for $3.69. I'm gonna go ahead and get a thing of 100% apple juice for $1.69. I'm actually gonna grab two. I just picked up my yogurt for $4.19 and I'm gonna go ahead and pick up probably three boxes of these yogurt because these are never this on sale. So I'm gonna go ahead and get two strawberry and one blueberry. 
Okay, so unfortunately they're all out of the Dave's Killer bread, just white bread. So instead, I'm gonna grab this whole grain, 100% whole wheat for $2.99. And then I'm also gonna grab one of this country style white as well for the kiddos. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get a thing of smoked paprika for a recipe for $2.99. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this celery seed for $4.99 for a recipe. Okay, I'm gonna grab a thing of this Pillsbury organic coconut flour for four for $4.59. This seems to be the best deal here. I'm gonna go ahead and get a thing of peaches for Allie. She loves these <laughs> for $1.29. Okay, I just got a thing of sliced olives for $1.59. I'm gonna go ahead and grab Justin's deodorant for $9.39 for a two-pack. All right, guys, here is everything I'm getting from my The only thing I'm not gonna get is the pull-ups for Allie at night. Um, I might just do a Target pickup for those. Yeah, this is All everything. All right, guys, I just checked out. I spent $86.88, which seems like a ton for that little amount, but like the pep smoked paprika, the celery seed, all those things were like five or six bucks. So I feel like it just added up really quick. But I did end up spending $200 for the next two weeks. And then next week we'll go back again, probably another 40 bucks or so, 30 to 40 bucks. And I've upped my budget to like 150 a week now because food prices are just crazy. <laughs> so I kind of had to, so 300 for two weeks. Um, so that kind of budgets were much less than that. So if we want to do takeout one night or we have to go to the store to get something else, like I'm going to do the pull-ups online, um, it all kind of evens out. But anyway, that is all. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. I'm going to get home before the storm starts, unload, and yeah, make some dinner. I'll see you guys in the next one. And if you like this kind of uh, video, this style I did, let me know. I'll try to do them again. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.